Hi, my name is Gary. I'm the new pastor at Elkton Presbyterian Church. Um, I would give you my last name, but it's a really long one, so Gary or Pastor Gary. And by way of just sharing a little bit of who I am, I thought I'd just share a little devotional thought this morning. Um, the, the church, Elkton Presbyterian Church, any church of the Lord Jesus, gathers around who Jesus Christ is, and we largely know him through, through his word. So um, the other day I was with a very dear friend of mine. We were sitting out on the beach uh, on the Northeast River. He came up from Pittsburgh to visit me. I'm, I'm new here. And as we were sitting on the beach, he looked out and he saw these boats anchored off of the shore, probably about 20, 30 yards out. And he's not used to being around water. I'm not either. But he was just astounded that those boats could just stay there. <laughs> and Larry, I love Larry, and he kept going, that's crazy, man. That's beautiful. Look, they're just staying there. How are they doing that? And of course, you know, the simple answer is they have an anchor. And, um, and, but he kept dwelling on that over and over again. And um, later we watched, we just sat out there on our, our folding chairs on the sand. And later we watched this storm gathering, clouds coming up over the full sky. And then uh, a few days later I was in the Word, in my own, in the Bible, in my own time with God. And, and this uh, verse came up in Hebrews where um, the writer of the Hebrews says about God that God, he says God made a promise and God, and he talks about, this is in Hebrews chapter 6. He said the, uh, the, the, the writer of the Hebrews says, in God he has this unchangeable character, the unchangeable character of his purpose. And then the writer of the Hebrews says this, we have this hope, a sure and steadfast anchor of the soul. And when I read that, I remember being there with Larry and seeing the anchors keeping those boats there and the storm gathering. And isn't that something we all want? I, sh I sh certainly want that. I want to be anchored in something. It doesn't matter what the emotional winds and tides and currents this way and that, the, the political current this way, the political current that way, the wind of feeling this way, the wind of feeling that way. I want a life in which I can experience God in such a way the hope in God, the hope in His promises, that He's a sure and steadfast anchor of my soul. I, I, I experience that a lot of the time, but that I can't say that characterizes me every day. I'm hoping that uh, I become more and more like those boats that Larry was just so astounded about, not because of me, but because my anchor is in my hope in God and who God is and His promises. So um, I'm just trying to share with you that I, I find the, the Word of God really exciting, very, very powerful in our personal everyday lives. In fact, this morning, I read in Psalm 28, the Lord is my strength and my shield, and the psalmist says, in Him my heart trusts. And I was thinking about that. How true of, that, of me is that? In Him my heart really trusts. Um, so, if you have similar hungers to what I have, this desire that, that those kinds of words characterize who you are more and more. You want to be more and more anchored in God and God's Word. You want, to, you, you want to have that full experience of your whole heart and being actually trusting in God. Uh, I'd love to see you more, get to know you, love to worship together with you Sunday morning at Elkton Presbyterian Church. Let's go down this path together. Let's, uh, let's see if it can become more and more true of all of us. He's the one in whom our heart trusts. So anyway, that's me introducing myself. I'd love to, love to see you, get to know you.